What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Cam Go Crazy. Back for another video. So, today, I actually been thinking about this for a minute now. Like, this is not like. Let me turn this off so y'all can hear me. I actually been thinking about this for a minute now. Uh, psychics. I know some people heard about psychics, and you know, I don't know if it's true or not. I've always been interested to like do one, you feel me? But I just never did. So, today, that's gonna be my thing, man. So, due to like this whole COVID thing, man, y'all know COVID got the world going crazy. But due to this COVID thing, they are doing all psychic readings through the phone. Shout out to the psychic place that I'm actually about to go to or get a call from is Mama Tracy, man. I guess they do a whole bunch of different types of psychic readings in there. But my appointment is at 1230, it's 1226 right now. So we just about to patiently wait. She said she's gonna call me around 1230. I don't know how they gonna read give me a reading through the phone but i'm interested to see how this is about to go so i need y'all before we get into this man i need y'all to smack the like button right now man smack the like button if you're new to the gang yeah that way yeah the gang way yeah if you're new to the gang man subscribe right now man this can't go crazy we about to go see a psychic man stay tuned So, oh look, as soon as I push it, look, I'm getting the call, it's time, it's time, it's time. This is Jen from Mama Tracy's. Oh, hi, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, how about you? I'm good, 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 good. Um, I'm shuffling your cards up for you, and then you can tell me if you want um, a general reading or there's something you are looking to know about. Uh, I want to I want to know something about like my future, but I also just want to get a general reading too. So that's good Okay, we can do that. Let me shuffle these up really good for you. So what I'm picking up for you is I, We have the spiritual strength card um, I feel like you are trying to Are you trying to open yourself up more spiritually? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, you can say that Kind of like, are you trying to tap into your abilities, maybe? Is that what this is? Yeah, I have been trying to channel channel in and figure out what I'm trying to do. Okay. Okay. Well, we have your, um, do you know anything about the chakras? No, I do not. Okay. Chakras are right down the center of your body, from the crown to where your, um, like, man parts are. Um... There are our psychic centers, our energy centers, they're called different names, but names, but it is where we get our psychic information from. Um, well, if you I'm picking up that you get some, some strong gut feelings, I think sometimes you trust him and other times you're not so sure. Is this correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So go with that because that's your number one strongest um, psychic center, which it's in your stomach, um, the whole gut feeling thing. Um, you can practice this by um, asking your higher self or God or whoever your higher power is, um, sit and ask them a yes or no question and feel what you get. Then, um, but but ask something that you know you can get the answer to later so you can get confirmation, okay? okay. This is how you develop and practice. Um, always go with your first, the first instinct you get because do you ever go down a road and you're like, I don't know if I should go left or right. Your first instinct says, I don't know, just say it goes, go left. And your ego kicks in and says, yeah, but I don't know, maybe right. Or is it left? Or is it right? Well, I don't know. I'm going to screw with you. And then you're confused and you don't know which way to go, correct? Right, correct. So, always go with that first instinct. No matter how wild or crazy or off kinder it seems, that is your intuition. The more you trust it, the stronger, um, definitely the stronger it will get for you. Um, we have something with your heart 
chakra it is showing, but I'm not picking anything up just yet on that, so I'm gonna come back to it. And you, this is like good stuff you're having right now. Your soul, it wants to soar, okay? It's really, really, um, you're being pushed kind of with something. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe that is your whole intuition, but I feel like there's something more with you. Something more. Um, and they're showing like it's a time of celebration for you. And things that you have been wanting, like there's something you've been really, really wanting, wishing, and either it's in the process of coming true or, um, or it's going to be happening really, really soon. Um, and it's big. That's all I know. I get like this handful of things with you. I, for, is there anything to do with college or some type of schooling with you? Be how the fuck you know this? How? Hold on, bro. How? How you? I'm saying, how, like, this, talk to me, bro. You the police? Is you the LBI? CIA? What's your I am in college right now. Okay. Okay, so, um. Okay, they're showing it's going pretty well for you. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Um, okay. They're saying, okay. Okay. I'm being told because you're determined. Um. Yeah, it's because, like, you're determined to do it. So, and you're putting, like, your effort and your work into it. So it's. It's kind of, it's going well for you. Even if there's like harder times with things, you're still, you're focused, which is super good. Now, I am showing that you're kind of holding your back, yourself back from something that you're a little nervous of, not so sure. Showing an apart, a partnership and alliance. I, I don't know if this is, um, a partnership with someone as in getting into a business. Or getting married. Um, but I'm, it's definitely something you're holding yourself back in fear. Um, yeah. Is there, are you with someone and they want to be engaged? Uh, no, I'm not with no one right now. What? I am having such a hard time tuning into one or the other. Um, all I know is, so if this hasn't happened yet, keep this in your back pocket because there will be some type of opportunity with, it's, it's partnership and alliances. Um, and they're showing you being like trapped in this fear and um but hold on let me pull a few more cards here a few more cards a few more cards because i'm confused if they're telling me to go for it or if it's an fyi to not trust the person that you would be with with your college and everything is there something you're looking into going into some type of a business my degree is marketing i have a market my my what i'm going um but is it is it something like you want to go in on someone with i have been no me I, me and a couple people have been talking about businesses lately that's we have been talking about starting a business ah uh, okay okay so this now this is making sense okay so they're talking about this like patience and planning um it's weird because i get the sense that you're a very calm person but this card is telling me you need to be told just um don't make any rash decisions really take the time to think them out um some things are not going to go the way you were really really hoping for which is your emotional loss card however it, it'll be okay because if something doesn't go the way you were hoping to it'll 
it'll still, it's going to end up working out fine, leaving you with this like firm foundation, which is, um, has to do with um, just like, like finances and work. So they will end up, uh, yeah, so it, it won't be such a, a struggle when, when this comes into play. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? So something. Um, just hang, hang on to this for when you're like done with college and everything, because there's something going to be coming up with, and it'll be like a, I don't know if it's just you and one person or a group effort, but something that you're hoping will come out of it is, is going to be a loss to you, but it'll still end up working out for you. Okay, see what I'm saying? Okay, I'm listening. Um... Again, whatever, and I feel it's big, but I can't tune into what this is. Something you've been really, really wanting. Um, and they're saying, put on your seatbelt because it's coming. And it's going to come at you fast. And it's something you've been wishing, desiring, wanting. Um, okay, I know you said you're not in a relationship, but is there somebody you're hoping, like a specific person you are really kind of would like to have a relationship with? I hope so. Because okay. that's what I'm picking up from this. Uh, I'll be, I have been feeling kind of some vibes with some people. Okay, um, I'm not showing like this huge transformation okay like it's it's the death card which is actually a good card to have it is showing out with the old and in with the new and we have your harmony card so it's something with the relationship and they're telling you again they're like um it's something you've been wanting i feel it's someone you it you would have liked to have had a relationship with um Maybe this was from the past a while ago and you're not thinking about it right now. I don't know, but they're saying put your seatbelt on because what you wanted is coming and it's going to come really, really quick and kind of unexpected. It'll happen out of nowhere. There's some healing of your heart that needs to be done. You weren't feeling so hot about yourself. You were really, really having a hard time. I don't know if it was a heart. It was some type of a loss. Um... And it just kind of felt unfair to you. Um, and I don't know if you felt guilty or you took blame or you felt at fault. It was something having to do like that. And, um, and I think you keep going back and thinking about it and thinking about it. And what they're saying is, um, okay, I don't know if this person was caught in lies or whatever it was, but something was not right. There was some deception, something sneaky behind your back, and they're saying you gotta let go and move on because if you hold, are you gonna let the problem eat at you and get bigger and bigger, or are you gonna let it go? They're, you know what I'm saying? Again, they're talking about your intuition, your spirituality. So it keeps going back and forth with this, keeps popping into the picture they're telling me for some reason you you need to know to have some self-love once again okay they're saying there's this um truth and the truth card is talking again with spirituality along with the self-love um your truth like your intuition will really amp up and kick in uh you just need to you need to oh there we go trust it's to trust yourself again. Love yourself. Trust yourself. Through that... Okay. So this is going to sound really wild. Um, material financial losses, like there'll be something you're attached to that you're going to have a loss of. I don't know. I mean, it could be a car. It could be money. It could be something physical that you own I, I'm not sure but they say through this loss this is really weird through this loss you'll have a different outlook <laughs> I don't know what that means um, and you'll learn to be okay without this material thing it's not a person okay your karma is coming into full circle and it's like um, they're saying get ready you know the reap. You know when people say reap what you sow. Yes. So you're getting ready to reap what you sow. 
um, karmas are coming into play, and again, with the whole spirit thing. Your spirit is pushing you forward for something, but you are having some type of mental conflict. You argue with yourself in your head. You're, you're in... You're like in a still place, you're not moving forward. It's almost like a, an uncertainty, self-doubt. And they're trying to tell you to step out of your comfort zone. They want you to move on. Um, you're doing a lot of self-sacrificing. Again, they're saying enough, you need to let go and move on. Um, you have the fertility card, again, showing growth. You have a lot of opportunity to grow. And, of course, spiritually, but with a lot of things in your life. I'm feeling with finances, um, which has to do with you taking the time to um, step back and, and analyze your choices. So, okay, if something goes wrong, they're like, don't focus on that. Step back for a minute and go, okay, so that, that was the wrong choice. Um, if that didn't work, I got to go and do this um, so that you can move on and move, move forward with, um, with the, they're saying like the plans in your life. I feel like you already have this something planned out and you're just waiting for the opportunity. There is definitely something about obstacles and challenges and some type of authority. I think what I'm picking up is they are telling you to take charge and like you, you're going to have to walk across some hot coals in order to get where you need to be. You're going to have to go through these little obstacles and challenges and it's okay. Like don't be afraid if something doesn't work out your way. Okay, they, because, um, they're, okay, 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 so anything that doesn't go your way, it's because it wasn't meant for you, so they want you to accept that, and don't hold on to it, they're like, just push, push forward. Uh, so... My freaking camera died, man. My freaking camera died. Cool though, because I, you y'all pretty much heard everything. Like after my camera died, it was only like two minutes after she was just like ending it off. She didn't really say nothing. She just was like, she was telling me like really trust my intuition, which is crazy because that's not crazy that she seemed like she said, "Are you in college?" Like, yeah, I'm in college. You feel me? Like, that's crazy. Like, I feel like it's partially real. Actually, I do think it's real, because how, how did she get some of that stuff? That's crazy. Like, really thinking back on it, if I think about, like, what she was saying, I do got some stuff that correlate with it. Like, my grandma did pass. She passed not too long ago, like, a couple weeks. Like, about a, it's been about a month now. So, that was actually crazy when she said that, because I was like, whoa. But, man, I, I wish I could have seen it in person, but it was just over the phone. And she still read it. She still wasn't all the way. She wasn't wrong. You feel me? Like, she wasn't wrong. So, I can't really say nothing about that. But that was crazy, man. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you new to the gang. Yeah. But until then, man, y'all know the deal. And, yeah, trust your good feeling. Trust your good feeling, man. This can't go crazy. We go.